What's going on you guys? Today we are going to be looking at the Oracle uh, 3 bay hard drive dock. Now basically if you have 2.5 or 3.5 SATA drives as you can see here on the box it can manage it which is really nice and there is a couple key features to this which is being that it can actually clone uh, hard drives without being hooked up to the computer without any software needed on the computer. So you have your target or your source and then your two target drives. So you'd put it in your source, put the you know empty drive here in the target, and there's a back button on the uh, unit itself that says clone or PC, you'd switch it to clone. There's a start and a stop reset button, which is really nice. There's an indicator to let you know what's going on. And you know, I, I picked this up for about 50 bucks uh, from eBay. If you guys want, I'll leave a link to the thing below where I got it, the exact seller. Uh, he was pretty nice, sent it out pretty quick. There is other units that are cheaper, some that are more expensive, some that have four. Uh, I went with the three because I fixed a lot of computers and I also have a couple drives that um, basically I'd have to keep buying these and I don't wanna keep buying these because they're hard drive enclosures and some of them can go up to 20 or 40 bucks. It's ridiculous, the price of these and they're kind of shitty and mind you if you want something that does the 3.5 you have to buy a bigger one which again you're wasting more money or if you buy one of these you already have the fix for the 3.5 or the 2.5 SATA drive uh, dock here so I'm not gonna unbox it because I've been using it so this is the unit itself so this is the unit itself it's fairly small um, in comparison to you know a phone my iPhone right there so it's not too bad uh, in terms of size it's not heavy at all there is some uh, ventilation here because obviously this will get a little warm having the hard drives in here because they do heat up obviously uh, you got your flaps here obviously for the 3.5 and then you got your 2.5 that sit right here you have an indicator here you have a power button and on the back here you have your DC USB reset start PC and clone button okay so if you're gonna clone you're gonna switch it to clone okay so you obviously have the power plugged in you would take your drive this is the drive I have all my stuff on when I fix people's computers and my gameplay drive okay and you pop that right in there and then you would hit the start button or the power button here and then you would hit the start button okay and it will indicate here the cool thing about these is, is they go red and blue uh, blue is standard, you know, it detects the drive, and then red is for the activity, so if you're doing stuff, you'll see it flashing, which is really, really nice. Um, there's not much I can say about this, like, I like the design of it, as you can see here, it's curved a bit, which is really nice, or slanted, I mean, sorry. Um, overall, it's a great unit for the price, and like I said, for somebody who either has a laptop, PC, who has multiple drives for you know, storage on videos, images, family stuff, documents, whatever it may be. Having three of these and this being so small and portable, it's friggin' nice. And again, it tends to be a lot cheaper than buying these things, okay? And sometimes these are so flimsy that, you know, you'll end up breaking the pins to the hard drive or to this, which, again, you're out money buying another one, okay? So the USB cable that you get is not overly long but it's not short it's a good distance where you could have this tucked away um, on your setup somewhere okay so as you can see I'm gonna try and show the cable all right it's about the length of an iPhone cable maybe a little bit longer um, again you could use a cable that is like this that is longer it just has to have the USB 3.0 and it has to have obviously this end here um, and they're blue if they're 3.0 so you plug that in, which I'll do right now to kind of show you. I'll show you what it, what it does for the activity. Now the speeds on this, obviously it's going to be based on your USB port. Um, whether you have it hooked up to, uh, you know, a, a 3.0 hub or the speed of the drives. Because some of the drives obviously that you have, they may be only able to write a certain amount, you know, 150 megabytes, you know, a couple, 200 megabytes, 300, uh, and stuff like that. So if you have a newer drive, 
uh, so on and so forth, not something that's from, you know, five years ago or longer, then more than likely you'll get some decent race speeds. Again, that's all dependent on your hardware. Uh, this thing does what it says it's supposed to. Uh, it will do the fast speeds and stuff like that. So as you can see, I plugged it in. Make sure I have it on PC. Make sure you have it on PC, not clone. Because uh, you don't want to accidentally, you know, be messing up and accidentally hit the start button and it start cloning. Now, if you have it on clone and you happen to yank one of these out when it's going, it's going to give you a nasty beep. It doesn't mean that your hard drives are messed up. It's just going to give you a beep. And as you can see, they all light up and they go blue. And then you can see them going red because the computer just picked them up. So it's pretty damn nice that there's an indicator like that. I know there's some of these that just do one solid light, which is pretty useless. It's good to be able to see if something is happening on the drive. And again, these are hot swappable, so you can pull them out, pull them in, or put them in, not have any issues or anything like that. There is no eject buttons. You do it yourself, which is nice. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Get, again, if you want something like this, I'll leave the link below to the eBay seller that I use. Again, you could probably find these somewhere on a retail store, in store, or whatever. Um, I wanted this one, and again, I got it for about 50 bucks. A Canadian, which is not too bad. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace out, and see you on my next one. Peace. Made it to the end of the video thank you for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe don't forget on the left is a video in main lake and on the right you can check out my last video again thank you for checking out the video it means a lot see you on my next one peace